Hi everyone, welcome to Comfort It Life Channel. I'm so happy to see you here today. In this video, we are talking about my hair routine. So basically, it's not because I think that my hair is like the best or I have the best haircut, but this video has been requested a couple of times and I think that I have rather long hair and it has no split ends. So maybe I have a couple of tips that might be useful for you. So let's start with the beginning of basically with everything I have in my mind. So I normally wash my hair twice a week, all right, occasionally maybe three times a week, but I don't really um, want to wash my hair as much as possible and I don't think you should because the idea of washing your hair as much as possible is not a good one because you're washing the oil off your scalp and it actually makes your hair even more oily. And honestly, since the time I um, started using the DIY dry shampoo for my hair, my life has changed because I honestly even prefer my second day hair to the first day hair. I don't know why, but it has more body and it, like, it's, uh, it looks so full. The thing is that my hair is heavy and it's very straight, so it is not an easy task for me to um, have the body or like crazy volume. The DIY dry shampoo, you can check out in the video that I've made before and it's, it's really good. It's so easy to prepare, it has only two ingredients in it. And I have a little update. Well, I'm suggesting to use a brush, you know, the one that you could close so it's good so you could carry it with you. But um, I know that of course there is like a, this type of brush where you could put powder inside and that's even better. Let's say if you want to carry with you just the brush with the product. And you know this lasts forever. As far as blow drying, I never go crazy and blow dry the hair when it's really wet. I let the hair air dry. Uh, before like as long as it's possible. I know in the morning you're gonna go somewhere here and there But I usually always wake up ahead of time So I wash my hair take a shower first thing in the morning And then I you know do other stuff like have my breakfast do my makeup and then the last last thing I'm gonna blow dry my hair So that's really very good and then another thing I never brush my hair when it's wet because It's not a really good idea, and it really doesn't work for me so what I do, I let my hair air dry first and then I start blow drying it, let's say until it's half um, dry. Another truth you need to know about me is that I don't like to brush my hair. So as far as brushes, I do not use anything special. I use this type of brush. It's not the ceramic or other things that, um, you know, it's on the market right now. But I think this is really good for the long hair and it's... Umberto Beverly Hills one, but any type of brush will work. I think um, I like this brush because I saw the wooden handle and um, this is not metallic so I liked it. But it really needs to be thoroughly cleansed and do not forget to always take care of your brush because um, you know, aside from the hair that got stuck in it, you always brush your hair that has some product in it and all this like sort of accumulates in there and it's not good. And then, but I only um, style my hair with this, you know, when I blow dry it. And then the first time I ever brush my hair after washing it, I use the Tangle Teaser. I'm pretty sure you are aware of this thing. I don't know how well it works for people with like curly hair and you know, people who have like a problem um, really brushing the hair, but sometimes I have a problem because I'm not a real fan of brushing. But this works perfectly well on the wet hair because I'm 100% sure it doesn't damage it. Now the thing I want to share with you that really helped me a lot to grow the hair as long as this. What I normally do, and I think you have to try that, it's so simple. Every time before washing your hair, let's say it's scheduled for tomorrow, Tonight, you need to do a very simple oil mask that you will keep on your hair through the entire night. So what I do um, now, I use two types of oil. I use castor oil and coconut oil. But the way I started it was only coconut oil. The thing I realized that it works perfectly because every time during winter time, you know, when you have long hair, it always like outside and it becomes dry and I did have the split ends of course it's like definitely normal thing for everyone to have when you blow dry your hair and especially during winter time but after using coconut oil every single time before washing my hair on the roots and of course on the ends like sort of you know massaging it on your hair I noticed that my hair is growing faster it looks like fuller and I do not have split ends and honestly I'm doing this ever since that time but the recommendation I could give you like 
don't waste your time and money on you know looking for and buying the products that tell you that it um, sort of helps you to cure the split ends. There is no such thing as cure a split end. What you need to do, you need to cut your hair, you know, um, as long as it really needs to, you know, where you no longer have any split ends and then you start taking care of your hair in a good way. What I'm doing now, I added castor oil to the coconut oil, but I don't mix them up. I take a tablespoon of castor oil, you know, it's really very thick and I put it on my roots. I just massage it lightly and then I take coconut oil and I put it on the, you know, on the rest of my hair, especially concentrating on the end. You know, um, castor oil, you know, it, it sometimes, it has actually drying properties, so I don't put it on my ends, but I have a feeling that people with oily hair might benefit from that because it might really help with the oiliness. I'm not even going to tell you how perfect this remedy for your hair is, just go for it, try it and you will see for yourself. Another thing I want to say is that it's good because I was really afraid that I would have a problem washing it off my hair the next morning, but it's not the case at all. The only thing you need to make sure is that you cover your pillow with something because you don't want to stain it. And another thing is, I know um, usually when you apply a mask on your hair, um, you're supposed to cover it with a, like a plastic cup and then put some towel on it. I will never recommend you to sleep this way because your hair like this um, and this cup, it, it, they don't breathe. So what you could do is if you have time, like some half an hour, put the soils on your head, then put a plastic cup and then you could even put the towel on top of all that. And like, you know, um, spend like half an hour this way and then take everything off, just leave the oil, don't wash it and go to sleep. So now let me show you the shampoos I normally use for my hair. I'm not really fancy at all in this thing. I either use my homemade one or um, these things. I wash my hair as I say if I don't use oil twice. So the first time I apply Kirx Castile shampoo, a perfect thing and it doesn't cost a lot and it's like all these kind of things like no bad stuff, never tested on animals. So I wash my hair with this first and the second time I wash it with the soap. I've shown it in one of my videos before, I don't, I, I'm not going to show you, it's just a piece of soap but I put in the description below actually most of the products I'm showing right now. It's called Soap of Goodness, I think that's what, it, what it's called and it just, it's so good for my hair, I can't explain it. <laughs> so, and that's all I do. So then, after I wash my hair, oh, sometimes, if I wanna go a little fancy, I really like this moisturizing shampoo. It's a Fikai Shea Butter Shampoo. And I like uh, the way my hair fills up to it. And um, I also showed you before the Face Naturals, I use the shampoo and the conditioner, Honey Lime Hair Conditioner. It has apple cider vinegar in it. So that's what I wash my hair with and I want you to know that sometimes, I think it happened to you also, is that when you use a product for a certain period of time and you're just in love with it and then you see that your hair looks different and it doesn't work anymore. I think the same as with the, like skincare products, the hair can uh, get used to it and uh, it won't have the same effect as before. But what I need to say is that with natural products, I haven't noticed that. I don't know why. It just keeps going and works all the time. As far as the conditioner, I don't really use a conditioner uh, because I have this um, hair mask. It's called Indian Hemp and Tomato Mask by Nubian Heritage. And it's growth and strengthens treatment mask, whatever. It prevents um, the breakage and the split ends prevents is the right word, right? Not that it cures the whole thing. And the reason I like using it is, uh, I don't know, it's the same consistency as the conditioner and like why not? It also has pretty good ingredients in it, And but this is a mask. So normally I take just a, 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 um, a teaspoon or a tablespoon and then I massage it on my end. You never put the conditioner on your roots. Um, I don't think the condition is made for it, that's one. And then the second thing I don't like when my hair is just, you know, falling like this. It looks like it's lifeless and it doesn't have any shape. But that's just my opinion. And I know that if you have really, like, seriously damaged hair, never be afraid to use a good mask also overnight. It doesn't have to be washed half an hour after. It will be like sort of really deep treatment. And the products I put in my hair so I could have like more volume or something is uh, um, two things. It's actually Redken Body Full Volume Amplifier. Um, 
I think it works. It definitely doesn't give me those like, you know, commercial L'Oreal crazy hairstyle, but I think it, it has some difference. It is a relatively natural product and on the skincare database it's, it's not rated as 8 or something. And another product, also a very good one, is Cream of Nature Argan Oil. That's Style and Shine Foaming Mousse. I really like that very, very much. So what I do, I put this on my roots when my hair is wet and I put this um, mostly concentrating on the rest of my hair. So as for the styling on uh, my hair, I normally don't use anything crazy and uh, I do use the hairspray but I try to find always something that is fragrance free because I just can't bear that, that strong smell. But I have also natural options that you could use. It's um, Antelou Naturals hairspray. Um, it looks like that and um, the reason I like it, it, it works, right? The only thing I don't like about this spray is that it doesn't spray the um, the contents evenly. It sort of goes just one place, even even if you hold it from like far, um, far away. And what I recommend you to do is just either put it in a different um, spray bottle, which is really like wide range of spray, whatever. The way I use it most of the times is just spray it on my hand and then if I have a bun or I have a ponytail, I just, you know, sometimes you want this uh, little hair to be just in place and I use it for that purpose. But that's, you know, if you use the right con the right uh, spray for this product, it's really good. Another recommendation for getting some volume after you blow dry your hair uh, you could do this thing. So you blow dry your hair, it, whatever it looks like, and then you just take a clip, the hair clip, sort of put everything backwards, and you put it, you know, upwards. So you have this kind of thing. Of course, you know, it could be a hairstyle already like that, but what you could do, just um, let's say, if you need to leave like three hours from now as perfect because it's gonna really give you that volume. You could use a little bit of hairspray on top of it and then when you remove it, I mean it's not enough time but trust me, you will have volume in your hair. And another tip is when you go to sleep, you could take the rubber band and sort of put your hair on top like that, you know. You get all your hair as up as it's possible like that and you do one and two. I hope you could see that. So that's that's what you, that's what you're gonna end up with, and then you go to sleep. I know some people say that you shouldn't really use any rubber bands when you go to sleep, but here it is so light and like almost loose. Of course, you're gonna wake up and this band is gonna be like somewhere, but it doesn't matter because I know that this way, for some reason, I will have uh, more volume and body the next morning. And I don't know, but I think the hair doesn't get dirty and oily that fast other than, you know, when you keep it loose. So well, that's all I can tell you about my hair care routine. I've shared the products I use and I will put them in the description down below. And I gave you a very good tip of using coconut and castor oil for your hair and some other tips that I hope you will like and use. If you have any recommendations of products and styling your hair in case you have heavy and straight hair like mine, I will be very happy if you share them with me. And if you have any questions, just ask me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Put the thumbs up if you like it, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you later.